Our next speaker is Saladin Ala. Good evening, Council. Um, I want to speak to a couple points. Uh, Council Member Tompkins, you said something I think that was very important. You spoke of the board as being professionals. Council Member Bax, you spoke of them as being experts, right? Um, I'm a part of an international civil society working group for people of African descent, and that's an appointment by the United Nations. I've spoken at the United Nations on multiple occasions. I'm actually the face of International Day for People of African Descent. I'm a part of that coalition of people around the globe who actually give recommendations to the General Assembly. I'm also the Director of Community Engagement at the Niagara Falls Underground Railroad Heritage Center, which is the first black institution in this city in 30 years. And those are just some of the hats that I wear. When you speak of professionals and you speak of experts, one of the flaws that we oftentimes have is you don't reach out to people like me and others who are in this audience. We're the experts. So when you don't reach out to us, you miss an opportunity for people to give you actual input with language that is appropriate. When I read that resolution, now I don't see some of you up here as being racist, but that can be interpreted as not only racist, but sexist, ages and ableists. How many of you are familiar with the work and travel program in this city? You familiar with the work and travel program? You familiar with it? No. What the work and travel program is, is during the months of May and October, we have students that come from all over the world to work here. They're students. Did you think about if this zoning ordinance was gonna affect them? You're undermining the local economy. Where are they gonna stay at? because they stay all on the south end of the city. That wasn't even a thought when it came to putting this together, right? Most of the people who are in support of this change are the baby boomer generation. Now here's the irony. These are your future nurses, the people who will serve you. These are our children. They're not just students, these are our children. And it's important to understand that. So there's an intergenerational disconnect that is also present. So the importance of making sure that processes like this are participatory is you are tapping your resources. My time is not cheap, but I would volunteer to be a part of giving you insight in using the correct language. I'm also a part of the Human Rights Commission in this city. I wrote the bylaws myself and you never tap me as a resource. And I'm just one person. There's many people that I know in this audience who are also resources and we're here. A lot of times people come up to this podium to bash you and think that you're responsible for everything in this city. I'm coming to offer what can I do to be a part of making sure that this is right. There's many of us that have that mindset. But if you don't present that opportunity to us and you're making decisions in the back rooms and thinking that these are experts, these planning board experts, they're not experts in cultural competence. I am. That is my expertise. I'm professional in that form. But if you're not tapping us, then you're going to get to that position where now you have to fix something when you could have just simply tapped your resources that are right here. I'm not talking about people who come up here and bash you and tell you what you need to do. I'm talking about people like myself and others who come here and say, what could we do? How can we be a part of this? We live here just like everybody else. But some of these decisions that are being made are disconnecting our communities and it's impacting all of us. So thank you. 